Efficient engineering. In ePlan, we actually know that we have a lot of tools that will help us create the schematics a lot faster. ePlan Cogineer as an example. Here we can see the whole platform using the Cogineer, filling it out, and we help ourselves on a design phase. But how do we help the fabrication, the assembly here, the assembly in particular of the panel itself? So of course we've seen already some parts of this uh, infinity loop, we call it. When we build a panel on the assembly side, we have a few steps to go through. The first step, we already saw, kitting. Kitting is what is picking all the different components and putting it into different kits. Second one was mechanical insulation, which of course uh, can be uh, helped with a Perforex machine here to do the NC drilling. We saw the example where we picked a certain panel and it automatically drilled it. Then uh, enclosure modification at this point, we can't really talk about it because we haven't done the modification. I'm going to show you how I can help with ePlan on the terminal strip assembly side and on the insulation of devices. So we already know that this project was created from Cogineer and here we look at the Cogineer project and we already know that this project um, was mounted here in ProPanel in 3D as a 3D layout. Behind the scene what we haven't seen is how we actually got there to uh, assign all the different parts. Each of these schematics contains a certain number of terminals. If we zoom in, we have for each terminal, we have a terminal strip, terminal designation, and a part number. These part numbers, where do they come from? They come from the ePlan data portal. So, of course, I can uh, pick here under the uh, terminals themselves. I can go and check out what type of terminals we have on the data portal and it will automatically uh, help you pick the, uh, the right parts with all the information. So this is already provided on the data portal. Now, behind the scene, what also comes into play is the fact that every one of these terminals itself, if I go here and I do open the uh, terminal strip navigator, we will see that every one of these terminal strips also comes with a few um, accessories that can be attached to it. Now, the one we actually uh, did uh, is use Phoenix Contact, so we have the possibility to use Clip Project. The Clip Project will actually help you create automatically every one of these terminal strips with the corresponding end plate clip fix to hold them into place. And it will also put these part numbers back into ePlan. So it's a very smart way of doing it. Now, of course, if you don't buy the parts directly from Clip Project and you have to assemble them, what can we do to help you? We can actually create a report. Within the reports that ePlan can generate, there's one interesting one for this specific step. It's called a terminal lineup diagram. So here, the terminal lineup diagram, if we take a look at it, this will show you for every single enclosure, every terminal strip we have, and it will show you the different part numbers so you can assemble them very, very quickly. So they're ready to be just placed into the terminal, uh, in, into your panel and just screwed into the panels. Of course, last but not least is how do we place them on a panel? Here, we just show you a model view. A model view of the panel itself, we can do a zoomed out view as I'm just doing here. I'm just updating the model and I'm going to see all the different components that are there. I can even generate what we call an enclosure legend. This enclosure legend here on the right hand side will show you every one of these components um, with detailed part numbers. So it's very easy to place and install these devices. And if it goes a little bit further into details, like the terminals that are a little bit harder to place, you can see them here where we have them all numbered. So that corresponds or this corresponds directly to the terminal lineup diagram that we've seen before. But these are tools to help, again, the guys on the shop floor. We haven't done anything on that side on ePlan. We have just 
put together the documentation to help them here with step number four, step number five of this loop that starts over every time we do a panel.